it's usually, I believe, after uh, beta builds that we that we do testing most of the time. Um, and I don't, I don't believe that. Okay, sorry, I wish I could speak to this more. Um, our, our, our research person was here, but um, I, we mostly we mostly test. The, the, I think the one time, and then make tweaks based on that testing. Once the ga game is actually built, I don't believe there's there's more testing af after that. Um, so we also, get so that then. And, and Sesame breaks down the the elements that they're looking to see children learn into different groups. Like there's executive functioning. Can you talk a little bit about what those quantums of knowledge are that you're looking to hit, and and how you have so for a game like this, what is it addressing? Yeah, um, yeah. So it, it, it's going to depend. Yeah, always on what the curriculum is for this game. It, the curriculum was um, music vocabulary with the largo and, and allegro. Learning what those mean. Oh, and tempo was the other um, the other word to learn. But we but we do have um, you know all kinds of curriculum from the sort of ABCs, one, two, threes that are the bread and butter of Sesame to um, more recently, executive functioning, which is sort of about flexible thinking, kids being able to be patient or to have the rules changed on them, um, that being a big part of preschool readiness. So um, any, any game we create is going to have at least one of, uh, of the you know, many sort of target curriculums that um, is important to assess me. And when we test, we do test specifically for um, whether or not they, they learned um, they they learn those things either by asking them, you know, before and after after they did it, or um, by observing. Um, and I, I know the researchers have you know specific specific ways that that they um, 